Blue Lock. Chapter 246, Irregular Abnormal, A Secret Training for Two. Overcome this adversity and prove your own worth. In the German Stratum's training field, we see Igaguri and Kiora practicing together. Kiora rushed towards Igaguri and Igaguri fell down. It's so nice that we get to see a bit more of Kiora Jin. I'm really excited to see what he is going to bring to the table in their match against PXG, since Noel Noah has confirmed him that he'd be playing in the upcoming match. Igaguri insists Kiora to go at it one more time as Noel Noah is watching them on from a distance. In the Germany Stratum's monitor room, the rest of the blue lockers are there to see the latest rankings. The announcer is about to reveal the salary bid rankings updated from the 7th and 8th matches. Yukimiya says that it's the final match for the Italy team. Gagamaru confirms that they are getting their last salary evaluations, which pretty much means that Isagi is going to be above Baru for sure after their match against PXG has finished. Isagi is realizing that this is the latest ranking that he must surpass. The announcer says that there are 35 players currently in the bidding, but to be a U20 Japan representative, you need to be within the top 23. The top 23 players and their bids are as follows. Raichi is 23rd with a bid of 18 million yen. Hiori is 22nd with a bid of 20 million yen. Zantetsu is 21st with a bid of 23 million yen. Tokimitsu is 20th with a bid of 23 million yen. Fukaku is 19th with a bid of 28 million yen. Gagamaru is 18th with a bid of 32 million yen. Corona is 17th with a bid of 34 million yen. Rio is 16th with a bid of 34 million yen. Karasu is 15th with a bid of 35 million yen. Yukimiya is 14th with a bid of 36 million yen. Sendu is 13th with a bid of 37 million yen. Nico is 12th with a bid of 40 million yen. Nagi is 11th with a bid of 40 million yen. Otoya is 10th with a bid of 42 million yen. Aryu is 9th with a bid of 45 million yen. Kunigami is 8th with a bid of 50 million yen. Chigiri is 7th with a bid of 55 million yen. Aiku is 6th with a bid of 60 million yen. Bachira is 5th with a bid of 79 million yen. In fourth place, we've got Shidu with 100 million yen, which is rightfully deserved as well. Baru is third with a bid of 150 million yen, as he's tied with Isagi right now, but that's probably going to change. And then we've, of course, got Itoshi Rin with a bid of 198 million yen. Sendao was happy making it into the top 13, which is a byproduct of his goal against Manshine City as Nanaiz fell short at 24th place, although he still has the opportunity to get within the top 23. Raichi made it to the top 23, but just barely. Meanwhile, Nagi and Ryo are in the top 11 and top 16, respectively. Nagi realized that it was dropping as Ryo told Nagi that if they stayed like this, they definitely needed to change something. Ryo is totally right because if they don't, it could quite literally mean their end. Nagi should take Baru's words into consideration. Shidu looks to be happy with his 100 million bid as he realizes that number one is within range. Baru doesn't like the fact that they're tied at 150 million though, as he calls him a loser. And of course, Rin went up again as he's very close to 200 million. It's of no surprise, really. But all of a sudden, Noel Noah entered the monitor room. He told the egoists that the conditions are set. Whether they stand on the border, aim for a comeback, or go for number one, the goal for the team is one. He wants the egoists to show their abilities calmly and rationally in order to seize victory. They are about to hold a strategy meeting for the final game. We move to PXG, their locker room now, as Loki tells the egoists that they've done a good job. PXG is a singularity. Loki will tell them their points to improve like he always does. From this interaction, it looks like Loki is way more direct with his teachings than Noel Noah is. Loki reckons that three shots on target out of four are good, but he asks Rin to increase the number of his shots a little. And for Shidu, he shot too much with 12 shots and only three of them were on target. So he tells him to try and raise his range a bit and improve his accuracy. He tells Karasu that he needs to improve the win rate of his duels. Zantetsu has to increase how many times he sprints. Tokamitsu needs to enhance his coordination with the back line. And Nanasi simply needs to polish his ball touch technique. Loki is much more direct than any other master. The only master that comes remotely close is Manshine City's Chris Prince. Loki is still talking, but Charles had different ideas as he was slowly leaving the room, so Loki kicks a ball at him. Loki tells Charles that he hasn't given him his homework yet, 
as Charles doesn't like the fact that his meetings are always so long. Charles reckons that it's fine to be more casual, like Master Striker Lavinio. Loki tells Charles that he has joined the Neo-Egoist League to nurture him. Well, now we finally learned Loki's intentions. It's about time. Loki needs a passer to lead him to the top, much like she do. And Loki recognized his talent. Although Charles Chevalier is 15, which means that he is two years younger than Loki. He's here to study for the future of France, and Loki wants him to become the best with him. Man, he's putting all these expectations on him. This kind of feels like a Hiori moment. Charles covered his ears and told Tokimitsu to let him know when he was done. Loki tells Charles that he still lacks a lot of experience as he came here to study. Charles really doesn't enjoy it, though, as Loki asks him how long he's planning to be so careless. Charles responds by saying that he doesn't want to do what he's told, which makes a lot of sense. Loki tells him that he doesn't have to listen to him anymore, which ironically makes him listen. Stop the cow! <laughs> if Loki took that approach from the start and didn't force him or put expectations on him, perhaps he would have taken everything in way better than he is right now. This way of forcing beliefs and intentions on another person is not right from an ethical point of view. Loki tells everyone that PXG has been experimenting with two systems, the Rin-centered and the Shidu-centered system striving to pass to two strikers with special personalities. It was an experiment to bring out Charles's abilities. And yet I was thinking that he was actually trying to make Shidu feel well and give him a place. But no, of course, he has some other hidden intentions behind it. But on the other hand, it kind of makes sense since they're still going to be rivals in the U-20 World Cup and the actual World Cup as well since Loki is around their age. But the other master strikers would have no intentions of doing things like that. The other members adapted to it as they were choosing a path that appealed to their own existence. This way, their individual levels have also improved. But in the final match, they will face Bastard Munchen, which is led by Noel Noah, who is the world's number one striker. They are a team that is undefeated like them. Moreover, their formation is a lot like PXG's, coexisting and competing two systems which are the Michael Kaiser and Isagi Yoichi-centric systems, an irregular and abnormal team. In their case, They've been changing Rin and Shadu every 15 minutes of the match and making member changes. But the abnormal one is more interesting. This means that they will face Bastard Munchen with PXG's irregular and abnormal formation with Rin and Shidu as their double aces. I wonder if they will get along unlike the third selection, I can't wait for the match. Shidu looks to be pretty positive about it though, as he is excited about the fact that it'll be a four-way monster battle. Itoshi Rin seems positive about it as well an all-out brawl with no restrictions. Loki tells the egoists that this is a maximum difficulty level mission, so he urges them to use the two beasts which are Itoshi Rin and Shidu Ryusei. To win against Bastard Munchen, this is their last piece of homework. Charles tells Loki that he doesn't hear him now. If you resonate with my content, hit the subscribe button, but if not, watch this video on your screen next, egoists.